Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're completely engulfed in Game of Thrones fever over here and hope you're loving the videos that we've been putting out. In this video, we're going to be talking about Azor Ahai. Based on what we see in episode 3 of the final season, The Long Night, we are led to believe that Arya Stark might be the long-promised Azor Ahai. We'll be discussing whether that is true or are we led to believe something else for a reason. Let's jump right in. So the prophecy goes, there will come a day after a long summer when the stars bleed and the cold breath of darkness falls heavy on the world. In this dread hour, a warrior shall draw from the fire a burning sword, and that sword shall be Lightbringer, the red sword of heroes, and he who clasps it shall be Azor Ahai come again, and the darkness shall flee before him. Melisandre is the biggest proponent of this prophecy on the show, and her sudden appearance in this episode, coupled with a long lingering stare at Arya before all the action begins, makes us think that there's some credence to this question. Melisandre told Arya back in Season 3 that she would shut many eyes, including blue eyes, forever. And as we see in this episode, Arya immediately realizes that the blue eyes means the Night King and rushes off. Melisandre also mentions that Beric has been brought back to life by the Lord of Light for this very purpose, to save Arya so she could fulfill her destiny. Melisandre has historically been wrong in predicting who the savior is, at one point a time believing it to be Stannis and then Jon Snow as well. But given what we saw in this episode, including her dying at the very end, signifying that her role in the story has come to an end, makes us think that Arya Stark might be the one who was promised. There was no burning sword that killed the Night King, but maybe prophecies don't have to be true word to word. This episode is also titled The Long Night, and the prince who was promised was supposed to save everyone from darkness at the end of the long night. Although Arya technically is the princess, the word for prince in High Valerian is gender neutral. Melisandre also repeats the phrase taught to Arya by her sparring master Sirio Forel, which further spurns Arya into doing what she does, which is stab the Night King with the same knife given to her by Bran. This also proves that Bran had an idea of what the outcome of the face-off with the Night King might have been. So is that it for the Night King? We're personally a little peeved that that's all the Night King has to offer to the show. But if that is what it is, then the last three episodes are going to focus on the Game of Thrones of old. Politics, warring between man and deciding who the ultimate ruler of the Seven Kingdoms is going to be. If that's the case, it'll be tough for D.B. Weiss and David Benioff to recreate the magic of the Game of Thrones of old that pulled us in all in the previous seasons. And it remains to be seen if that will be the satisfying conclusion that we all want. So what do you guys think about this theory? Do you think Arya is Azor Ahai? Let us know in the comments below. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for a full recap and discussion of episode 3 coming up. Till next time.